Hello, so what does a web hacker do? A web hacker simply sends weird post requests, right? Uh, this might sound weird, but what I'm trying to say is that a hacker puts in input that the application does not expect. What does input mean in this case? Introducing ChatGPT. Look here, I'm writing stuff, writing, typing, whatever. This is input. Now when I press send, this will, something will happen in the application. So I'm gonna just use this application here to capture that request. I'm gonna write, this is getting captured. And then I make sure the intercept is on. And then we should see some requests. I think I want to see this is getting captured. So what am I looking at, you might think? I am looking at a raw post request for the ChatGPT post request, which in this case contains the, this is getting captured. Now I'm going to take this request and I'm going to put it in the repeater. It doesn't really make sense for you right now, but I'll just do it quickly. And now the request is here. I can now manipulate whatever I want. I could say this is getting captured. You know what? I'll just do it here in the proxy. Uh, in, in the interception. This is, this is not getting captured. Let's see what, what happens when I let this request go. So I'm going to let it go and in the browser we'll see. <coughs> you see that it changed here? It said this is not getting captured. Why? Because I took the request and I intercepted it. Now this is what a hacker does. And it's really interesting because uh, when you look at this, this is a uh, this is just our application, like a bank application or whatever. This is just ChatGPT, which you're very familiar with, but you could be, it could be a web bank or something. And then if you try to make a trans transaction, you could capture that request and edit it. And maybe transact negative amount of money into your bank account, which would mean, I don't know, you're getting more money or something like that. You know what I mean? So I will try again. I will try again and I will make sure to capture the request. And I see that the request is here, should say, I will try again. Now, there is a role, it says user. If I would write admin, maybe I would be able to send it as an admin or become admin in the application. This is hacking. It's not really that complex. <laughs> I kid, it's, it's very complex, but it depends on the type of application you're gonna hack or examine. But what is hacking? It's just understanding the application that you are trying to manipulate and understand the technology behind it so that you can do things that the developers did not anticipate. Now, did they anticipate that you will go into the exact request that the browser is building? This request here is getting built by the browser and the browser is building this uh, request based on the JavaScript in the application, which should be somewhere here, I guess in the sources i'm not gonna ch i'm not gonna look for it but there is code within the application somewhere here javascript code is getting referred to that will build the request based on what you write here and it will send it when you click on send now you catch the request you manipulate it that is hacking now it is interesting this is http and it stands for hypertext transfer protocol and this is the request for it this is raw you would see this if you would use some network sniffing tool such as um, Wireshark. So it's very detailed. There's a lot of things happening because there's a lot of things that a modern web application such as uh, ChatGPT expects to work. All right, uh, that's really cool. And uh, I think it's super interesting. So you could go into any website you want and just examine it. I get, got a timeout because I, I did some crazy stuff here where I wrote admin and then the application was smart and it knows I wrote admin and it will say you did something weird. But if it's a dumb application that you can hack, you get caught here. If I go into YouTube and going into a website will generate a get request. I click enter, I get a get request, which usually doesn't contain anything else than the headers, right? It doesn't, a get request doesn't have a body. This is a post request, it has a body with JSON and things that will get sent. It doesn't have to be JSON all the time.
So uh, this is simply what a hacker does. It's very simple to hack web apps. I mean, it's not hard to do it. It's, it's uh, maybe, hmm, let's say the methodology is pretty simple. Manipulate the input. But to get the result you want, that's pretty hard to hack because you need to examine every single part of the application and see what happens. If you have code that built this request, you can check the code. If you have backend, you can check the backend to see what kind of things that the developer didn't think about. And this is how you hack the websites. All right. Uh, what is the tool I am using right now? What is this? All right. This is Burp Suit. Burp Suit is very powerful. Uh, Burp Suit works like this. I'm going to close the browser. You open Burp Suit and you click on open browser while you open, you land here or something like this when you open it the first time. I think you actually get exactly here when you open it. Then you click on the proxy tab. Don't worry about all of them. I'm just going to go through two of them today. Uh, you do proxy and you click on open browser and then you get a browser. This browser is it's rigged in a way that its request will pass Burp Suit, which is a forward proxy it's called if you can be technical. So I'm writing youtube.com and I am capturing that request and it will lead to a GET request. Really cool stuff. Now clicking control R will send this request to the repeater where you can just repeat it. You send it and then you can edit it however you want, send it and see what happens on this side. And then this time it has a redirection or click on that. And I get YouTube. This code on the right is the full YouTube application that you get when you get to youtube.com. So computers are not magic. That's what I want you to understand. Computers are not magic. Computers are pretty simple. It's about input and output, and it's not magical. There is some input that will lead to an output. I go into YouTube. I'm going to let the request go. Uh, and I get YouTube because the input was youtube.com, output was the youtube.com application or web page. And it gets, you get it after sending a get request. Uh, let's, we can look at it here. Really cool stuff. Uh, you can use this for hacking, but you can use this to understand web applications in general. You could go into facebook.com, uh, for instance. And uh, we will see, maybe we don't have the proxy turned on, which is fine. And then I say, hello, hello, yellow, or whatever. And then you go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or whatnot, okay, I intercept. And now I will see when I try to log in, I have some type of email and a password, I want to say. Let me see. Password browser. I don't see the password string clearly. It says ink pass. This is some type of way to send the password. I think this might be my password that I put in. I don't really know. This is the this is the password anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. It was sort of encrypted in a way by the front end. <laughs> which is uh, a little bit confusing. I'm sorry. <laughs> in any case, the email that I put in is there, right? And you understand web applications better. Very powerful when you try to like manipulate your own websites, right? Your own applications that you're building and understanding APIs. At the end of the day, all of this is APIs. I could do another like test that's pretty fun. I can go to SMHI, which is uh, uh, temperatures and weather. Uh, forecasts. I click enter. I want to see if it, uh, if I Google New York or something. Well, I mean search. Sorry, every search isn't a Google. I know. Uh, all right, and actually, I want to even intercept. There is a history, but I like the <laughs> like. It feels feel fine. It feels good to intercept. Uh, and I will send it to the repeater. Control R, and I see here there is a path. It says, get uh, weather's warning forecast, New York, my search stream. So if I click on send, I get the data back, right? Uh, in this case, it's a web page that I get back. But you can see this be easily be a, like a API request or something like that. And you can see it's a server engine, Nginx and whatnot. And this is how you do web hacking or understanding your application better.
it's pretty cool technology uh, I'll let you know the best web hackers like that uh, hack really really cool applications such as uh, I mean YouTube Gmail uh, GitHub or whatever they use burp suit burp suit is industry standard and you could download burp suit and you could do the port swigger Academy if you want to become a good hacker uh, port swigger I think it was called Academy if I remember correctly yeah so you sign up here and you can do drills using Port Swigger's tool Burp Suit, which I love. I'm not, it's not a sponsor, I don't get any money for it, but I mean, it's a really cool tool and I really think you should use it. All right, this was a pretty short video. I kid, I don't know how long it is right now. <laughs> I hope it wasn't that short. Uh, I mean, I hope it wasn't too long, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it can be used for hacking, it can be used for building and understanding. I give Burp Suit a 10 out of 10, fantastic application. Please download it, it's awesome. Uh, and you can even hack web applications, I mean, mobile apps, because they use HTTP protocol under the hood. It's a bit more convoluted than that, but I mean, you could prompt ChatGPT for the exact details. Uh, don't, and remember, don't be useful, don't be useless be useful that's what i wanted to say and download burp suit try it become better than your peers it's not really this tool burp suit is not really known by the average developer so by downloading it and trying it out you're immediately more savvy than the average developer so i really recommend you do that you're welcome and now you know more and this has been me yusuf hastam from pseudo sultans and i'll be seeing you in the next video Thank you.